Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Apollo back with Diablo Immortal. I hope you're all doing good, having a great day. Today I have an updated version of the builds that I did a couple of days ago for the wizard. Fast farming that is going to allow you to create some crazy kill streak that you can see on your screen easily going over 5600 kills here on this realm of domination map high damage and health to your difficulty these builds will give you the damage that you need to kill everything real quick and the movement speed that you need to uh, reach the next pack before you lose the kill streak so if this sounds interesting i will show you some more gameplay how i played this builds and then i will go into the builds itself and all the legendary gems and the skills and the modification i am using for this build so all that if sound interesting to you let's dive right into some gameplay and then the builds all right so now that the intro is out of the way we will be going into l direct here and i will show you how i play these builds melting everything as i go and keep on moving keeping the killer streak so this map is not so bad i like this map enough for the elder rift and this is how we're going to play going on with the kill streak and speed farming at the same time we don't want to spend too much time killing and fighting enemies so we will just move and kill and you will see how fast even the elite pack dies is dead like instantly and you can see the progression is going really fast these builds are really really good not going to take the shrine that is going to be a cheat for the builds that i'm doing right now especially the video so we won't take that uh, let's kill these packs here dead 144 kills Pretty fun builds, like you guys can see, melts everything. And we are almost done with the uh, rift here, and the boss is about to spawn. Alright, so the boss spawn how many kills? 154 kills, 184 kills we had, and now let's fight the boss here. And let's see how fast we can kill. So these are not the most damage builds since they are built for the movement and bust damage but still uh, you can pretty much kill the rift in 1 minute 41 second there so I would say that was pretty fast you can do a bit faster with the shrine that is how I play the rift with these builds and now let's dive right into the builds itself Alright, so first off, let's go and check out the attributes and the combat rating here. You guys can see 4,866 damage, 59,888 life. These are my stats there, you guys can see. And more attributes here, you can see 2,871 combat rating, armor, armor penetration, potency, and resistance. You can see, potency is really bad, need to work on that. Critical hit chance 12% could have been higher, but yeah, that is what I have. And uh, critical hit damage 13.5%, 13 13 not bad. And these are my other stats here. And as for the resonance, it is 1065 here, not too high. Only spent about 200 something bucks. So, as for the gems, these are the gems I am using. You can see, seeping bar. One star lasting, two star form and fang, a berserker eye, here, blessing of the worthy, and chip of the stone flesh, which was not working the builds that I was using. And as for the pieces, legendary pieces, these are the legendary pieces I am using. You can read the names, and as for the modification, I will be going into that later. And these are the legendary pieces I'm using. For the bills and as for the set item I'm using the uh, feasting barons pack not that I need it it's just randomly made here so yeah and this is my side secondary gear pieces you guys can see pretty good some of them need to be upgraded like boost I need new boost 
So yeah, and that is all here. And now let's go and check out the skills. Before skills, this is my charm here, meteor damage, which is two percent. And now let's go and check out the skills here. First skill I'm using Lightning Nova here has been modified two times here. The first modification is coming from the chest piece. Lightning Nova now holds balls of fire, dealing 3752 damage and additional damage, 1600 burning damage over two seconds. And this is going to be really, really good, especially with the Arcane Wind that I will be using. That will create a fire storm. Second modification is coming from the uh, offhand is for the movement speed. Casting light nor temporarily increase your movement speed by 60% and this is for 2 seconds. So this is going to help you move faster and speed farm. And as for the second skill here, it is Arcane Wind. And we have one modification done to this from a offhand. Hand, sorry, main hand. Arcane now summons a tornado that follows enemies for 5 seconds and continually deal 15,320 damage to enemy in its path. So this is going to be really important for fighting some elite packs and bosses to kill them fast. And as for the third skill here, that is the meteor. We have a uh, modification done here to it as well. Meteor now summons a meteor shower dealing. 11,624 damage over 4 seconds to enemy in the area but no longer stun. Meteor damage increased by 10%. So this is coming from the Awaken because the pants is being awakened as well. So those are like two type of modification I have on the uh, my legendary pens because the gem socketed inside the pens is also level 10 and it's been awakened and I have 2% increased damage coming from the charm as well and as for the fourth talent that is going to be a disintegrate this is going to be our highest damage skill and the one that we need to burn everything down when it comes to dealing damage so we have I believe another modification done to this skill Disintegrate now channel fire continually dealing 2900 uh, damage and then burning enemies for an additional 3388 damage over 2 seconds. So this is going to be really really good. It deals a ton damage to enemy and burn them down real quick as you saw in the uh, rift was just using laser and everything was dying. So these are the builds that I am using right now for the open world farming and the uh, rift bosses as well and as for the paragon let me go into the paragon as well what paragon i am using here i was using the treasure hun uh, treasure hunter since these bills are for farming i use it for the open world and inside the rift i don't need more damage i was already dealing a lot of damage so i have some armor and then some damage resistance and I have some armor penetration there as well and I'm using treasure hunter for the greed and the treasure uh, treasure find for more legendary and as for the rank ratio, I have some damage then I have some more damage and now I'm working on the armor penetration here and another important thing that we need to talk about is the some of the talents that I have reforged here, you can reforge some of the family bonuses here. I have critical hit damage, damage done to enemies below 30% life increase. It's something like that I'm always trying to focus on. You can see critical damage, damage done to enemies below uh, increase. I would actually go with the skill damage and critical hit damage, but it's not that easy to get those. So I'm still working on those. Right now I am getting these and it does help a lot increase the damage. And I need to remove this heal party members for 1% on that. Really bad talent. So I'm trying to change that with something else like critical hit damage or like damage done to enemies below 30% health. And you can see I have some more of that here. This helps a lot and kill things much faster so yeah these are my bills if you guys like it let me know in the comment section down below i'm signing off i'll see you guys later for something else and then have fun and take care guys